This video is a digression on state monads for the curious. It is not essential for the rest of the series on tactics. I'll start with a simple example. Okay, so this is an infamous example of how a perfectly mathematically correct definition, but it's ridiculously slow to compute. And the reason, well, let's see firstly how slow it is. If I evaluate Fib, say 32, that's not a very small number, but you see it's taken me seconds to do it. It's given such a result. Well, you see the definition you realize because Fib 32 gets substituted to Fib 30 plus Fib 31. And we calculate Fib 30, but when calculating Fib 31, we calculate it as Fib 30 plus Fib 29. So we are calculating Fib 30 again and so on. So you see Fib 30 is uh, is calculated twice, Fib 29 three times and it explodes. Things are calculated again and again. We don't want to do this. There are many ways of rearranging this correctly in this special case. But really we want an entirely general method for uh, many contexts to simply remember things we have already computed. Okay? Maybe in a smart way. Okay, so that we want that to be part of the state. So that's where state monads come in. I will not show you what state monads are first. First we will uh, stop this from repeatedly computing in a stupid way and go ahead and look at a smarter way of doing it. It's the FIB mo FIBM state monad. Okay. So FIBM is a state monad and the state is a hash map from natural to natural which is supposed to represent the values we have already computed. So we have a background state that is a hash map to store values and while computing a term of type FIBM alpha we can get the background state okay, and use the result we can also set the state to whatever we want or update it which means just getting computing using what we got and uh, setting again. And what is the value of this? The value is that future computations automatically use the updated state. So we don't have to mentally keep track of states and so on. It happens automatically in the background with very elegant notation. So let's see if we had this magical FIBM NAT and we wanted to calculate the Fibonacci numbers, what would we do? We get the state. Notice this is a hash map, which is the stored values. Look, if we have already computed Fib, uh, the value at n, if so, return it. That's obviously what we want to do. Suppose we haven't. Well, we go back to the old definition. At 0, we return 0. 1, we return 1. But what about k plus 2? We get Fib m of k with this arrow saying extracted from inside the monad whatever that means and f2 is also extract things from inside the monad this time fibm of k plus 1 and add them up but be careful don't just return it remember you have to store this value we have calculated it now uh, it calculation does not automatically store it we need to store this so for that we will update i mean we have to store the sum naturally so we store at the value sum uh, the what we have just calculated at the value n, the sum, sorry, and m is a hash map, and then we return the sum. Let's see how, what effect it has had. Well, 32 was horrible. Well, it's instant, oh, well, FIBM of 32 is now instant, 324 is instant, 3245 is instant, giant number, it's still instant, as it should be, because it's a linear calculation, and modern computers are fast. But uh, the point here is exactly that we did not manually keep track of state as we could have by just returning pairs or something. And this is a very general method. We can, we have a state, it's automatically kept track of. It would be a tactic state where we do many, many things to it. Okay, we can get, set, update the state, use it, and things compose automatically using this do notation. 